Hi, welcome to this week's G.I. Joe Toy Review. This actually has been one I've been waiting two and a half years to do since I started my channel. And I thankfully get to do it due to a technical error of not being able to get what I was going to do for this month. But I get to move him up ahead and get to do him now. So I'm doing Cobra's Ninja Storm Shadow. And But before we get to Storm Shadow, we'll do our weekly shout outs first back to the media which is located on 41 South Loudon Street here in Winchester Virginia and you can see their website at www.backtothemedia.com you can find them on Twitter Instagram and Facebook at back to the media and back to the media at gmail.com is their website man they really want to know they're back to the media <laughs> actually it's a cool store go check them out for your video game needs and whatnot and while you're in the neighborhood, go to 115 South Loudon Street, just on the other side of the splash pad. And go to Time Traveler Toys and Collectibles. And see Charles, let him know I sent you. And uh, you can find really, really cool stuff in both stores. But So let's go ahead and take a look at, at uh, the file card for Storm Shadow. As you can see, I have had a G.I. Joe Battle Royal, so to speak. <laughs> actually, I'm rearranging and going to my new room, so I'm actually trying to get them you know, set up right. But this is the uh, file card, um, Cobra Ninja, codenamed Storm Shadow, and his primary military specialty is his primary military specialty is sabotage. Secondary military specialty is uh, intelligence. His birthplace is classified. And the text reads: Storm Shadow can trace his family history through thirty generation of generations of ninjas. He can scale sheer walls with bare hands and feet, move with blinding speed, and endure unspeakable hardships and pain. Qualified expert low bra low bow or longbow, samurai sword, throwing stars, and choku sticks was an eighth degree black belt in five martial arts. Well, he is a deadly uh, deadly martial artist. And a quote here at the bottom says, "The great ninja clink." The great ninja clans disappeared a hundred years ago. If they were wiped out, nobody took the credit for it, for it. And if they're still around, who are they working for? And let's go ahead and take a look at his Storm Shadow's accessories. His figure stand with the upraised cover logo, codenamed Storm Shadow on the front. He also comes with this unique backpack that doesn't peg into his back, but it just wraps around. Where he's got his arrows. Unfortunately, this version didn't come with a um, bow for the arrow, so the arrows are kind of useless. And he also has the two sleeves for his swords. He also comes with this mini dagger that fits in the front of his belt, which I'll show you momentarily. He also comes with a short, a short uh, sword, silver blade. Uh, at the hilt, there's a is gold with the black handle. He also comes with his famous katana. With a silver blade, gold hilt, and the black uh, handle. And that's all he comes with. So let's take a look at Storm Shadow as he's here in his usual all white you know, outfit with the red cover logo right there on his chest and his black belt. And actually, right there on the belt next to that throwing star, flowing, uh, throwing star which is where he keeps his dagger. And pretty much he's all white all the way down with his little sandals. <laughs> But uh, let's take a look at uh, the articulation of Storm Shadow. Head can rotate a full 360. Arm can lift two here. He can also rotate his arm all the way around. Bends at the elbow. Rotates at the elbow. All the way around. He also has the rotating at the wrist. Goes full 360. And uh, he does have the app crust feature. You come down, you get, it has a table school T hook at the legs. Leg can lift up to here. Like all modern air, mo like most of the modern air figures, he has a double knee joint right there at the knee. His ankle 
can pivot as well as go all the way around and that's the articulation so let's look at storm shadow all set up ready for battle and here's storm shadow all set up for gear mode battle ready as you can tell he's got the containers right there for his swords there's this little dagger in the front um, Storm Shadow made his first appearance in the G.I. Joe comics in the original Marvel comic run in issue 21, the silent issue. And uh, he made his first cartoon appearance in the animated series in uh, the, um, the Revenge of Cobra Part 1. And the unique thing about Storm Shadow is he originally aligned himself with Cobra to find out who killed his uncle, the Hard Master. We just come to find out uh, Sartan was the murderer. Cobra Commander knew it, so he kept his loyalties to Cobra Commander so he could find out. Um, after he found out, he wound up becoming, aligning himself in the G.I. Joe uh, side of things during the comic book run. In the animated series, he stayed aligned with Cobra. In the comic book, his main rival was Snake Eyes. In the com in the cartoon, it was it was uh, Spirit and Quick Kick um, as his main rivals. Uh, this is definitely a top tier figure. He is one of the greatest figures that I've that I've ever actually had the privilege of owning. He's one of my favorite Cobra characters. Um, I've had this figure for a while, and I couldn't wait to get to him. And uh, I'm thankful to start 2020 off with Storm Shadow. And, uh, like I said, this is a really great figure. To see the vintage versions, watch uh, Hoodie Cobra Commander 788's channel, as well as Forum BX 257's, who do vintage versions of Storm Shadow. You can check out pretty much anybody for the modern era versions. Um, I thank you all for letting me view this figure this week. And next week, we will be doing the Night Force Shark Tooth which is known as the Night Spectre's Driver uh, Night Force Grand Slam, which I'll be the second one to actually review this figure. And uh, tune in next week to see this. But that has been Storm Shadow. Tune in for Grand Slam next week. Have a great week. I hope everybody's enjoying the start of their new year. And always remember, now you know, and knowing it's after battle. See y'all coming up with Grand Slam.